Good afternoon and welcome to this Global US Brain Trust Dialogue. The Brain Trust goal is to bring to you the latest scientific, social and policy agendas by bringing together leaders in science, industry, patient advocacy and philanthropy, we want to achieve greater awareness and demonstrate the benefits of investing in brain health, in particular in women's brain health. Preventing the disease before it starts and thereby preserving our brain and mental health needs to be top of mind for all of us. Today's topic is journey from diagnosis to treatment of dementia, current clinical practice and lived experience. With the remarkable advances that recently have achieved in AD research, our discussion should be of great interest to all of you. Now, I would like to welcome the panelists and have them introduce themselves. First, please, Dr. Giovanni Frisoni. Uh, Giovanni Frisoni, uh, neurologist. Uh, I've been uh, working in uh, uh, Italy at the National Center for Alzheimer's Disease for 20 years, taking care of patients with uh, dementia and Alzheimer's. And since 10 years, uh, I'm leading the memory clinic in uh, Geneva, at Geneva University Hospital. And I see myself as a translational clinical scientist. Uh, in other words, I try to take the uh, innovations in uh, science and technology and bring them uh, to clinical fruition to improve patients' diagnosis, uh, prognosis, and treatment. Thank you, Giovanni. And now, please, Dr. Rebecca Job. I'm Rebecca Chop. I was diagnosed with Alzheimer's in 2018. I had to step down from a very wonderful, incredible career in higher education. Now I live in Northern Colorado next to the mountains with my husband. In 2022, I co-founded the Voices of Alzheimer's. I do all I can to give voice to this disease and to encourage those with Alzheimer's and their care partners to live well and to live with joy. Thank you, Rebecca, for this touching statement. And now let's welcome and hear from our final panelist, Dr. Rachel Buckley. Hello, my name is Rachel Buckley. I'm an assistant professor of neurology at Massachusetts General Hospital and Harvard Medical School. I completed my PhD in Australia and then was able to come across to complete my training under the National Institutes of Health funding uh, to train at Harvard. I now run my own lab where we're really interested in understanding the, the drivers of sex differences in Alzheimer's disease risk, everything from twinkle to wrinkle. We look at the X chromosome all the way to menopause and beyond. Thank you all. As you can tell from this um, touching brief introduction, this journey is about to change dramatically from the first disease modifying treatments to significantly slow progression of early Alzheimer's disease to in fact diagnostic tools that will be soon available to predict who is at risk for developing the disease 10 to 20 years before the symptoms appear. All of these evolutions will change the journey from diagnosis to treatment of dementia to the final goal, which is prevention of dementia. And as we should see full approval of the two disease modifying therapeutics, hopefully very soon, there will be a growing interest in knowing if one should get a diagnosis and how to best navigate this journey. 